Hello and welcome back. This is one of the final parts. I'm not sure if it's going to be the final part or not, but this is going to be um, close to the end of this tutorial series. And right now we have a basic low poly head model that we're just going to tweak the shape of. Uh, we're going to redefine some shapes and do a lot of just tweaking. It's a normal process to do in the end, um, getting our model to look right so let's just jump right into it and just kind of look at what I'm doing I'm just uh, dragging these out giving his neck make it kind of taper out at the end and we're gonna kind of just look at what we have it's like the top okay so it is the side of his head is completely flat but Heads have a kind of roundness to them, so let's see. Let's select this edge loop, but then C and uh, press C, and then deselect some of them. Let's drag this out, and not this whole neck, but just this place right here. Kind of make the head a little bit wider. Oh, what's that? Gonna, what's that doing right there? Okay, make the head. We don't need it. Oh, don't do that. What am I just doing? What did I do? V? Yeah, drag it out and make the head a little wider. And I keep saying this, but redefine the shape. <laughs> I don't know. I need to think of another way to say that. Let's see. I can say tweak the shape. I am recording all of these tutorials in one session. <laughs> I've been recording for about two hours now. Um, mostly because I don't have that much time to record during the week. And when I do, I like to record a lot. And also because before I release part one of the series, I want people to know what the finished product is going to maybe look like if all of the series. So I'll have like a sort of time lapse video that will show them what I'm doing right now, basically. I'm just gonna time-lapse this tutorial footage and then they'll be able to see you know, what they'll maybe have at the end if they uh, follow it and do their best to do that. You'll notice that I'm not very good at sticking to the separate views. <laughs> A lot of the time I go into one view and I kind of get lost and I go to like side view or something in the front view where the front references and I don't know it's, it's a it's a thing I do it's not very good uh, so we're just gonna before we go and uh, go into sculpt mode let's just do what we can in edit mode and edit some of these vertices just to make it ease. I'm not trying to model this person necessarily. Like I'm not trying to make this model look like the reference that we have. I am just using that reference to get the proportions pretty much and not much else. I'm not trying to make it look like the person that it that I'm modeling it after. Getting something to look like someone is very difficult. I yeah, it's very difficult. anybody who can make something look like something like you'll see if you go on like CG artist or something or uh, something like a website like that CG, CG, <laughs> CG artists dot 
.com or .org or whatever has a lot of models of people and they're very realistic. They're great. The artists there are amazing. And uh, getting something to look like someone like say Christian Bale or Emma Watson or something, they everybody knows their face. So if you don't get it right, everyone's going to know. So it's very, it's very tough making something look like someone. So what you can see here that I'm doing is editing the lips. Um, I guess I uh, misaligned it or something because now, now it's going too far in. It's not looking half bad. Let's move that down and in. Maybe like that. Maybe like so. Awesome. Okay, let's see how this looks smooth. Okay, it's not bad. We can save it and we can add a subsurf modifier if we wanted. Make sure it's below your mirror modifier. And you can see with the subsurf modifier, it, you lose a lot of the details that you had in your smooth in your um, flat shading and without the subsurf modifier. So that's where you have to go in with the subsurf modifier. And you have to make broad adjustments. But I'm just gonna make this mesh without subsurf. Because when you do subsurf, and you have to make those broad adjustments with it all smooth like that. What it does is it makes your original low poly version look not very good. Because, let me just demonstrate. You probably have no idea what I'm talking about right now. So, say I wanted to fix his nose. I wanted to make it look more rounded. I could go like that. Obviously, this isn't fixing it. But, I'm moving vertices around and then when I click off it and I go back you can see that it the the flat shading you know it doesn't look right so that's what that's why I don't use uh, subsurf modifiers but obviously if you wanted to you could always go in and fix this model to how, however you want if you follow this tutorial series all the way to the end, one, that's awesome, thank you, and uh, two, you've probably learned enough to where you can go and tweak this model however you like and do whatever you want with this. I'm just fixing the corner of his mouth right here. I don't like the look of the nose. Let's look at our reference. Okay. Something we should do with the nose is select this nostril area. And you can see on the reference that it's kind of rotated like that. Let's do that. Let's rotate it on the y-axis and kind of line it up and rotate it also on the x-axis so that it's kind of rotated on the side of the nose instead of the area where it was before. It looks better. Okay. 
guess. No, maybe it's too flared out. Uh, let's bring the top here. Let's bring that out. The wax isn't down. Let's see. eyebrow let's move this nose bridge in really like to go back and uh, reshape this nose. It's not too late now, but oops. it's not needed necessarily. But if this were something I'm, I was doing for a render or something, I would definitely go back and reshape this nose probably from the beginning because I'm, I'm not liking the look of it. But for a simple model like this, it is fine. So let's view the ax, uh, the wires. And you can see on our shaded, on our smooth shaded model, this is our model. This is the completed model. Uh, from edit mode, let's just go into sculpt mode real quick. Let's go to smooth. And <clears throat> with a strength of about nothing, Let's go in and smooth some of these vertices. You don't want to have this powerful at all, because something it will do is take away a lot of hard work. <laughs> it will uh, take away details, yet it will also smooth the vertices and all that good stuff. Go into the clay, make sure the strength is low. You can increase the strength a little bit. Increase the strength. Bring out his cheeks a little, make him a little fuller. Right here, you can bring those out. We can do subtract, and we can define this his jawline a little better. That's good. Do subtract on his forehead, maybe, maybe there. Should do some smoothing up there. That's good, much smoother. Okay. There we are. Go to the clay. from subtract to add. Maybe we can miraculously fix some of this nose at this point. Take some off right there. Oops, don't do that. careful. Uh, right now the strength is pretty high, so you can accidentally take out details that you wanted to keep. Let's look how it looks in object mode. Let's turn off the wire. He's looking a little better. Turn back the wire. Okay, so I believe this is the end. I hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial series. I certainly enjoyed making it. I hope you find this particular tutorial series helpful. I know there are plenty of other head modeling series you could follow on YouTube, but I tried to focus on topology, not making it too detailed, 
but hopefully in the end you get you know a pretty good result one that you're proud of and I hope this is uh, something that you can use in future works because it's the whole point of a tutorial it's not to follow along it's not to follow along and see what I'm doing it's to learn something that you can apply in your later works Just obviously there is more work that can be done on this model but this is a good start and I hope you realize that it's a good start so thank you for watching and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel please like uh, this video if you did and have a nice day